This lesson will help you get started with scripting in ANSYS Discovery. In this module, you will learn about accessing the script editor in Discovery, the script editor interface, using the record feature, analyzing the recorded script, rerunning the recorded script, and saving and publishing the script. The script editor is the interface for scripting in Discovery and is accessible from the file menu. The script editor interface consists of the file menu, a play menu, the script window, and the output window. There are two ways to create a script, using the record feature and writing commands. The easiest way to get started with scripting is through the record feature. The record feature records operations related to geometry handling and is enabled by default when the script editor is launched. Let's go through an example to demonstrate the record feature in action. Launch a new session of Discovery and open the script editor. The record button is enabled by default. Open the file bracket1.dsco. First, let's remove the small hole located on the plate using the fill tool. Next, remove the fillet created on the outer face of the pipe using the fill tool. Click the record button to stop recording operations. Let's check the resulting recorded script. Here you can see the command for opening the file. Here are the commands for removing the hole using the fill tool. And lastly, the commands for removing the fillet using the fill tool. Now that we have a completed script, let's try it out from the beginning. Go to the file menu and click new to open a new session of discovery. The script editor is still open with the recorded operations. Click the play button to rerun the script, which will open the geometry file, remove the hole, and remove the round. You can save your script as an SC script file, which is a binary file format, or a PY file, which is a text file format. Publishing a script is useful as it creates a tool button in the ribbon that can be used in any project. After you write a script, click the Publish Script icon. The Publish Script Tool dialog appears. Enter a name and description. For the icon path, enter a path to the icon or browse to select the icon. Click OK. The tool is added to a Script Tools group on the ribbon. Once a script is published, it can be edited or removed by selecting the Edit Script or Remove option on the ribbon. Scripts can be embedded into the Discovery project. After you write a script, click the Embed Script icon. The name Embedded Script dialog appears. Enter a name, then click OK. The script is now saved and stored in the project. Let's go over selection basics. There are three ways to select entities, Smart Variable, Index, and Ray. Select any face, then choose the selection options and click the selection button to get the selection command in the script editor. The index is the internal index of each selected entity. The ray is the internal ray, point, and direction. This can be advantageous when working with STL files. The smart variable combines the other methods to make selections persist better when replaying scripts. Smart variables store more information than any of the other types and is much more robust in matching the selected entity during geometry changes. To use smart variables, the script has to be saved as SC script and not a PY file. Smart variables are objects located in the background and contain a lot of data about the selected item. This data is saved in the SC script file, but gets lost in a PY file. IntelliSense is a context-aware code completion feature that improves the process of coding applications by reducing typos and other common mistakes. As you type in the script editor, you will see suggestions for commands, helper functions, and variables. The autocomplete features add parentheses when writing functions in the script editor. For loops, can be created automatically. You can also search for existing APIs 
from the script editor and select it to automatically add the code to import it to the script. This concludes the lesson on getting started with scripting in ANSYS Discovery.